My single point today is that we need to increase awareness of the negative effects of ecstasy. And originally, I was going to talk about something else. Like I was thinking about talking about the effects of high heels on your feet, but that seemed kind of weird. But no, actually, the reason I changed my mind is because this weekend, I forgot what the rave was called, but one of my coworkers went to this rave on Saturday. And on her way back, she got into a car. She took ecstasy. Her and all her friends took ecstasy. They got into a car, and they were driving while on ecstasy and drinking. And they came this close to getting to a car crash that was on our side and that probably would have killed on the spot. So that's why I just talked about that today. Now, first I'll provide some factual data about what ecstasy does to your body. According to the article Death Causing Effects of Ecstasy by Jonathan Pitts, he states that the usage of ecstasy causes irreversible long term damage to the parts of the brain controlling thoughts and memory. It causes hallucinations increased blood pressure, your body temperature increases, you get dehydrated very quickly. And all these effects are made worse when you drink or take other drugs along with ecstasy. It also states that most ecstasy users are the young crowds who go to parties and experiment with these drugs without knowing the bad effects. Now, if we were to increase the awareness of what exactly happens when you take ecstasy, then perhaps they'd say, hey, you know, maybe that's not a good idea, drinking an ecstasy. Now, um, another study by the Center for Addic Addiction Research, it states that among people aged 19 and over who use drugs recreationally at parties or raves, the number taking ecstasy has nearly doubled in the last four years. Now, this tells us that it's, there's more people using it nowadays. So that shows us that we must increase awareness because there's more people using it, there's more people that could perhaps get into accidents or make wrong decisions. Right. <laughs> an example of ecstasy's devastating effects on an individual's family is demonstrated in an article by the British newspaper The Guardian, where the author Carolyn Davies writes about um, a 13-year-old girl named Isabel Jones Riley who overdosed on ecstasy, ecstasy pills while she was at a party. Now, what happened is that they were at the party, and this guy found these this bag of pills that they did not know what they were. They're like, oh, you know what? Let's just take these, you know even though they didn't even know what was in there, how strong it was, and they took them. And later on in the autopsy, it was declared that, yes, it was ecstasy. It was very, she took twice the amount needed to overdose without knowing. And um, it states in the article that not only, did it take, not only did she take the pills without knowing what they were, later on when she started having the effects of, she started hallucinating, she started seizuring, having foam coming out of her mouth, she kept repeating, don't call my parents, don't call my parents, I do not want to get in trouble. And of course her friends, I do not understand, like they didn't even call 911 because they didn't want to get in trouble. Now, if they were aware of what the signs of overdose, of being overdosed were, they would have probably called 911, but they didn't. In conclusion, um, when we were kids, we had that whole dare program where we were taught, just say no, just say no. When you think about it, it's not enough anymore to just tell people just say no, or don't do this. Because the harsh reality is that people are still gonna take e ecstasy even though it's illegal. The least we can do is educate people on its effect on the body and educate on what happens, what could happen if you overdose, so that at least they know what they're getting into and at least they know when to stop and when they should call 911. It doesn't sound like much, but when you think about it, it could make the difference and it could have been enough to, you know, keep my coworker from getting in the car in the first place and almost dying. It could have been enough to encourage the, um, Isabel's friends to call him on that instead of just sitting there. And that is my turn. All right, let's take uh, just a couple minutes here for people to stand up.